major items required is PVC pipe cuts. So I joined all this as four, four in one cell. So instead I have inserted this aluminium as a round shape, no, as negative. This is how I made a single cell. So this I will insert it like this. This is what I have shown done here. Able to see? Just two. Then I have connect them in series. For that uh, I have done like this. Then for the positive, I have taken those carbon electrodes, carbon rod which you find in dry cell. So I collected five numbers, four for this one and one for this one. Then to fill this carbon electrode with metal oxide, graphite, carbon, all that I already have here. Carbon black, mixture of graphite, then MnO2, that's all. This three in one mix, I am going to fill using a nylon bag, which I will show you later. This all the major components for the aluminium ion batteries using aluminium chloride plus sodium sulfate. You can see the filling nylon bags. Just a nylon cloth it is. It's available for screen printing it is used. No, the same 500 mesh they call it fine mesh it is. So this filter cloth I am using nylon. For appropriate size I cut it and make a bag using sealing machine, no? we seal it like this because after sealing we can insert this carbon rod so this gap will fill it with the metal oxide, graphite and carbon you can do your own technique this is the You can see the metal oxide, carbon, graphite mix filled into this nylon bag. This is how I have filled it. Now I will close the upper portion so that it will not leak. No? Then I will insert into each cell. This will be the positive. Similarly, like this I have done four others. I have to totally five are done. Now I have to close it and after closing I will try to insert this. This will be a single cell, this will be four in one cell. Okay. Finally, we have prepared the aluminum ion battery cell. This is a single cell. I show I told you know this is positive where I have used the mixer, the carbon mix plate. So this is a single cell. Just for to show you, I have done I show you, I'm showing it to show you I'm displaying it. Okay. This is how I'm going to assemble. At the bottom, I place one ceramic pad just to avoid discharge that's all this one similarly same technique I have prepared made to prepare this four four in one all serial connections so this is a positive the negative goes and connected with the positive it's negative to the another positive it's negative so ultimately four cells are connected this will be our positive I mean negative this will be a neg this time I am going to use Aluminium chloride, sodium sulfate and little amount of aluminium sulfate. So this electrolyte stability window increases. So I practically I found that this combination is good. So I am going to show to you. This I have prepared aluminium chloride. Able to see liquid? This is I have prepared using aluminium pieces. Then description I have given you how much of aluminum you have to add for this concentrate HCl. This is a slow process. We have to make under a water bath because it will give liquid aluminum chloride. This aluminum chloride I am using it with sodium sulfate which I have purchased outside. The combination of this electrolyte I have given in the diagram. Okay. Finally, we have prepared this electrolyte. This is called aluminum chloride, sodium sulfate and aluminum sulfate electrolyte. This is a combination. This I found to be performing well for this aluminum ion battery. Long rechargeable cycles are there. It does not corrode the aluminum plate. That is why I am going to use this. For your curiosity, I have made one 
single this aluminium negative and this is positive metal oxide in this i am going to pour the electrolyte and we'll see what is the volt it generates so i'll take the electrolyte i'll try to transfer it into the cell so i'm going to place almost i have poured it it takes time not to absorb it has to undergo no it has to absorb in the metal oxide then it will start giving its voltage and current we will see how out it generates negative and positive able to see friends one point now itself it has reached 1.7 okay even the volt we will see i mean so i am changing it the electrolyte is uh, we have to pour little more electrolyte it's not sufficient so let us disconnect and see this is after some 5 6 cycles of charging discharge all that no you can see wonderful it is i'll disconnect this also one negative okay now it is free we'll connect it and see so 180 okay 170 shall we see what is the volt so 1.7 okay friends now same thing i am going to pour all the electrolyte into this four in one cell connected in series you are able to see no positive the negative part is get connected to another positive like that i'll connect it i'll pour the electrolyte so i'll make some asbestos no the ceramic asbestos filled here for proper engineering no otherwise it will discharge by touching each other it will discharge so i'll pack this and i'll show you what is the ultimate 4 in 1 voltage okay friends same similarly i poured all the electrolyte into that and the cumulative voltage i'm able to see as able to see 6.47 we'll see what is the amps around 160 to 150 milliamps friends you can see the motor running fine okay this is aluminum ion battery this is aluminum ion battery using aluminum chloride as the electrolyte with the sodium sulfate to boost the electrochemical stability window that is why it is able to give 6.3 6.4 volt for four uh, cells in combination series so if you like this video you can share you can click the like button you can comment you can subscribe my channel okay friends this is rechargeable aluminum ion battery this corrosion is less here compared to the caustic soda and aluminum this corrosion is less and is able to give long recycle cycle cycles recycling cycles or rechargeable cycles okay friends